All right, so in this video, I want to show you how to update your My Settings, your My Profile in the settings. So if you click down here in the bottom left under Settings, uh, and then if you go to My Profile, and so if we click on My Profile, you'll see that the, you can update your image uh, or your photo, and that, that just shows up all the way through um, Go High Level, and you can use it as a custom field as well for, say, footers. And then just fill everything else out. So everything else that you need. Um, here's your email signature. If you want an auto signature, put on and you can enable it. You can write it in there. Um, you can reintegrate or integrate your uh, Zoom. And you can see here there's an issue with mine at the moment. So I'm going to click disconnect. And then I'm going to reconnect it. You can see we just log in to go high level. Sorry, to Zoom. And then it says disconnect, which means it's connected. <laughs> a little bit strange UI there. Uh, you can, if you're using Outlook as opposed to um, Gmail, this is where you connect Outlook. You have to connect it here. If you're connecting Gmail, you have to go to integration. If you're using Google Workspace and you, you add it here. So you have to connect your Google uh, Gmail account here. Uh, but if you're using uh, Outlook, or Office 365, you click on My Profile and you connect it here. Okay, it's a bit. That's a bit. Um, a bit of. A, that's not the best way of doing it, but that's how it works. You can see here that uh, email two-way sync. So if you want to um, sync your emails to your Gmail or your Outlook, and your those emails put them in Go High Level, and the Go High Level emails put them into Outlook. This is how you sync it. Uh, and then obviously there's an auto BCC field as well. Uh, if we scroll to the top here, you can see this how you can change your password. This is very important, um, user availability. Uh, you can either choose custom, and if you choose custom, I will type in phone call so people know that I'm going to call them, or you can choose your Zoom. And so that will just be the standard um, based on uh, the calendars, but you can reconfigure in the calendar. Your time zone is very important to put in, so this helps your calendar so they know what time zone you're in when people book with you. And here is how you can book all the time. So, you know, here you can undo times. Um, you can choose all the, the days of the week and then you can adjust the times here. So play around with that. That's very important. I'm just going to remove Saturday. Okay, and then finally we have your calendar configuration. Very, very important. So you either connect your calendar here and then you have to choose the calendar or you go to integrations for Gmail and connect it and then you have to click here and then you've got to choose the calendar so you've got to choose which email address and then you've got to click here and you've got to choose the actual email address here okay and then the last thing is checking for conflicts so if there's any other calendars you have you can I choose Australian holiday so it doesn't conflict with that and there's many others that you can have as well and that's basically the um, settings part or your sorry your my profile part of the settings in go high level one thing I just want to show you is if you click on notifications, you can then apply uh, here how you want to be notified when things happen in the system. And you can just choose the, the uh, options that are best for you here. Um, there's no right or wrong.